Hi, my name's Ken Brown and I've held a few putts in my time over the years playing a couple of Ryder Cups. I'm going to give you a few tips that hopefully will help you hold a few more one putts. Covering everything from your setup to your grip, getting that just right and judging the distance right. I guarantee this book helps you hold more putts. <laughs> Well, what is the sweet spot on a putter face, which is, is so key to hit if you're going to be consistent with putting? Well, it's the spot on the putter face where the club doesn't twist. So if you hit the, the ball on this toe here, you can see how the putter face twists. If you hit it towards the heel, it doesn't. Now, this is a putter, it's a big one, the one that Jack Nicklaus used in 1986, so it's quite nice to demonstrate. But when you hit it right off the middle, and I say the middle, it doesn't necessarily the middle, the spot where the putter doesn't twist and that runs across the face and up and down the face as well funnily enough. If you hit the ball there time and time again, if you use the same putter of the same weight and you hit the sweet spot, no matter what its design is, the ball goes virtually the same. So knowing where that sweet spot is absolutely critical. A lot of putters these days like this one, it's got it marked. And if it isn't, now funnily enough, this is the putter that Jack Nicklaus used to use for most of his career, which is called a Bristol Wizard, a very old fashioned looking blade type putter. And this is the one he used to win all those majors, apart from in 86. Now this is very interesting. Just watch what happens with this putter here. See on the toe it keeps twisting, but even in the middle of the face, the putter is still twisting on you. So the sweet spot on this putter is very near the heel, not necessarily in the middle. So if you've got a putter without the sweet spot marked, give it a bit of a tap, see where it doesn't twist. And then with a pencil, just put a little line on it first, make sure it's in the right spot. and. Uh, then you can cut it in. Big Jack, I think, had two little lines cut in the top of his putter to mark where the sweet spot is, and it certainly wouldn't have been in the middle of this one. So knowing that sweet spot is critical, absolutely vital. If you can hit the ball consistently out of it and knowing where it is doesn't half help, I guarantee you'll hold more putts. <laughs>